Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you are watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show, so we're gonna eat together and we're gonna chat. And on Mondays, we do mukbang videos. So if that is your thing, then don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. So today's menu was something I just kind of had to come up with last minute because originally I was gonna eat something else, but that fell through, so today I just made something out of what I had, okay? But I am actually very excited for this because I've wanted to try this since I saw it and this is kind of like trendy in Korea right now. And what I'm talking about are these rice paper wrapped noodles, okay? So you can make these with any sort of dry noodle of your choice, not soupy noodles, obviously. And I've seen people make these with like the spicy noodles, like fire noodles. And I made them with black bean noodles, obviously all vegan, of course. So I'm gonna be trying that. I actually haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna let you know how it tastes. And I also have some steamed buns. These are stuffed with sweetened red bean. I love this stuff. So that's gonna be my random meal. Hopefully you're ready for a random meal. All right, you guys, let's start eating. First, of course, I got my bubbly, mm-hmm. I promise I'll start using my soda stream soon. Whew. Let's have a little sippy. Oh, I feel like I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Woo, I'm alive. Okay, so I really need to try this. By the way, one of these like looks diseased <laughs> because I use a different kind of rice paper and it's like not as shiny and not as like pretty. Hopefully it still tastes good, but I'm gonna try with one of the non-diseased looking ones. Ooh, ooh. So this is what we're dealing with here. Ooh, look at that. So it's very simple. It's literally just noodles wrapped in rice paper. And I think it's just supposed to add, I mean, I don't think, I know, it's supposed to add the element of extra texture. And this is very trendy in Korea right now. So I'm very excited to try it. All right, let's try it. Cheers, first bite. Mmm. Wow, that makes it so interesting. This is the inside. It almost feels like I'm not eating noodles at all. Mmm. This is pickled radish. We always eat it with black bean noodles. And I also realized my chopsticks are um, uneven, but oh well. Guys, it's actually really good. Yeah, it gives it a very different experience to just eating noodles, but it's very delicious. It's almost like eating like very chewy, like dumplings kind of. Mmm. Okay, so I love it. I love how the differences in texture just completely feels like it changes the dish. It makes it seem like I'm not even eating noodles because it's like all clumped together. It's not like I'm like slurping noodles. And then the softness and chewiness of the noodles accompanied by that skin, really chewy, thin rice paper skin. Mmm, 
It's so good. I love it. I don't know if it's better than just eating the noodles as noodles. I think it's just different. I would literally make one pack of just the noodles and then one pack as dumplings and enjoy it like that. <laughs> because I feel like, again, it gives you like a different experience. I'm gonna try this with like the non-shiny um, rice paper. Hopefully it's still just as good. Yeah, it's not as pretty. I don't know why this one is not so shiny. The instinct in me wants to dip this in something, but. Mm. 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 Do not judge a book by its cover, guys. Just as tasty. Well, it's a little bit different. So it's not as chewy, I think, as these ones. I think actually this brand of rice paper is more maybe authentic to like Vietnamese rice paper because it was like a Vietnamese brand, I think. Whereas this one, I'm not sure. It seems very Western. And I say that because when I was in Vietnam, I found that the rice paper was a little bit different. It wasn't as like shiny and chewy. So the Vietnamese spring rolls were like slightly different. I always say that spring rolls in Vietnam are like the best and you will never get it the same outside of Vietnam. And I think it's partially due to the, the rice papers that they have and the ones that they use. Like it is a little bit different. I don't know how to describe it. Let me know guys, if you're Vietnamese or something, or if you know anything about this, cause I feel like the rice paper is a little bit different there. So it's like not as shiny, like it doesn't look as pretty, but I feel like it's better for like frying spring rolls. I don't know. Maybe it has a more crispy consistency after frying. Anyway, they're both really good. This one's a little bit chewier, but this one, I think the paper is a bit thinner, so I can taste the black bean noodles more. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I definitely want to try this with different types of noodles as well. And you know what's really annoying, guys? Oh my god. So, when I was in Korea, what's so annoying is that there's so many different kinds of instant noodles in Korea, but the way that they manufacture it in Korea is different from the way that they manufacture literally the same brand, but in different countries. Like the ingredients they use are different depending on the country of manufacturing, which is why for me, it's really hard for me to recommend like, oh, here are some accidentally vegan instant noodles uh, because I love... Korean instant noodles. It's hard for me to recommend vegan, like accidentally vegan Korean instant noodles because depending on the country where it's manufactured and where you buy it, it might not be vegan. The same brand might not be vegan. And I found this problem when I was in Korea. I was trying to find vegan instant noodles and I swear to you, I spent many, many minutes in convenience stores looking at the ingredients list, trying to find vegan friendly ones and I could not find, I think I found one brand Oh, but I couldn't find anything, okay? I was so mad. So basically a lot of the Korean like instant noodle brands that I like to buy here in Canada because they're accidentally vegan are not vegan in Korea. So I couldn't buy them in Korea. Just so annoying, but they taste I'm sure the same. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna try a steamed bun. This is called jimbang in Korean and it is filled with sweetened red bean. Ooh, ooh. Red bean is a very popular dessert ingredient in East Asia. And I love these steamed buns. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. 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 It's so good. By the way, you can find these 
I found this at a Korean supermarket, just in the freezer section. Mm. And all you have to do is steam them at home. I was originally going to eat Ethiopian food today because some of you guys requested that I eat some vegan African food, which I know I need to do more of, okay? And there's an Ethiopian place in my city that has like a specific vegan menu, which I mean, I feel like most Ethiopian food is vegan friendly anyway. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I remember eating Ethiopian food because it was vegan friendly, I think. Anyway, I wanted to eat that, but I ran out of time and I had to get it delivered and there was not enough time. So that's why I'm eating this, but I'm still happy that I'm trying this because otherwise I wouldn't have tried it. All right, here's another shiny, shiny dumpling, I guess we can call it, noodle dumpling. Mmm. Mmm. Some of you might be wondering why I'm eating pickled radish. Pickled radish basically like refreshes the appetite, cleanses your palate, if you will. It's nice and pickled and it kind of, I feel like it enhances flavors, okay? And it makes things just like tastier. Mm -hmm. It's like pickles. Anyway, we always eat pickled radish with black bean noodles and lots of other things. Can you hear the chewiness? Mm. Oh my god, I can't wait to make more of these, but with different types of noodles. It's so good. And it's so easy. It's so easy. Ooh la la. Red bean. And there's also different types of these steamed buns as well. I mean, they exist in pretty much every East Asian country, I feel like. Korea, Japan, China. We all have our own versions of steamed buns. Mmm. so good okay I got my final final dumpling final dumpling final cheers mmm it's almost like you're eating rice cakes you know Korean rice cakes Stop. It reminds me of that because of that chewiness. Mm. Mm. It is very crazy how much texture affects how the food tastes because even with something like instant noodles, if you make it ahead of time and eat it later, it becomes soggy and it's just not as good. Even though it may taste the same, but because the texture is off, it's like not as good at all. It's not even half as good. Texture is so important, guys. <laughs> I'm just glad that I'm a Korean vegan that doesn't live in Korea because I can get instant noodles that are vegan Imagine if I was like the Korean vegan that lived in Korea and then I couldn't even get Korean instant noodles that other people could get in other countries because in other countries they make it vegan but in my own country they don't make it vegan so I'd have to like go out of my country to get instant noodles that are Korean branded.
<laughs> my lord. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you can buy instant noodles, like vegan instant noodles online or something. If I was in Korea, I think. Mm. I think the issue is that in Korea, what I find is that veganism is seen as like a health movement, which I know it's not an only Korea thing. I know it is the case in so many other places. Like veganism is so often associated with just like healthy living and healthy food, which in some ways can be true, but that's not, we all know that's not the only thing, right? But in Korea, it's like even more so, you know, people just think vegan just means like health. So I think that's another reason why maybe there aren't as many instant noodle brands that might be vegan because they think vegan means health. So why would you make instant noodles? So even if they made instant noodles that were vegan, it would probably be like super healthy ones. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I could eat a million of these. Oh, okay. Finishing up my dessert. If you ever want to prove to anybody that veganism is not just about health, you can show them this meal. There wasn't a vegetable in sight. Oh, except for pickled radishes. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try making these with whatever types of noodles. It'll just change the noodle game, okay? It's so, so good. And I definitely want to try eating this with like different stuff. Maybe even like spaghetti, like why not you know what i mean try this out you guys it's so delicious and i very much enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this mukbang i will film an ethiopian mukbang soon okay it's part of my plans i just need to plan better my life is just a little little crazy at the moment it's always crazy but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already make sure you comment down below letting me know what you want me to eat next and i will see you guys in my next video bye